the worst thing that could happen would be to give somebody the credibility of a score that doesn't deserve it. But even far worse than that would be to d deny somebody the credibility when they deserved it. What's up guys, Tony here. And today, more Billy Mitchell news. Today I'll be talking about Steve Wiebe and his response to Billy Mitchell being banned from Twin Galaxies and all this scores being removed. I'll be talking about Guinness Book of World Records and their response to the findings. And Billy Mitchell is going to make a public statement tomorrow. I'm going to share all of this, guys, and thanks for watching. Okay guys, so we're going to talk about Steve Wiebe first, and his first public response to this whole fiasco, this whole mess between Billy Mitchell and Twin Galaxies and being banned and all that jazz. So if you don't know who Steve Wiebe is, he's the main character protagonist of King of Kong, the documentary that came out a few years ago, and basically he's trying to beat Billy's score, get the, the high score. Um, and it's a really, really good movie. If you're interested in any of this stuff, go check it out. And there's rumors that there's going to be a King of Kong 2, which would be really, really neat. And there's a lot of interest about this right now, so we'll see. So, Variety Magazine, they reached out to Steve Wiebe, and they wanted to get a response out of him. And it's pretty short what he said, but it's, it's uh, pretty important. So I will share, I'll summarize what he said in the statement. I'll leave a link down in the description below uh, where I got this information. And uh, let's just get right into it. So Steve basically said, I'll just read a quote. The more I thought about the King of Kong days, it all seemed to make sense. Yes, it does. It makes perfect sense. Hindsight is 2020. And uh, just a few points. I'm not going to read his whole statement. You guys can do that. Uh, he said, basically, it makes a whole lot of sense why Billy wouldn't come out and play him in person. And there'd be tournaments like at the, the Fun Spot uh, down in Florida. These are just in the film. And there, because he didn't need to because he had the film. The doctored film. Uh, the film that was used with the not the original hardware but the main hardware so it, it does it, it does make sense um, also Billy he picks which scores are legit and which ones to drop that's that's Weeby okay just paraphrasing summarizing and if you if, if you pay attention to the beginning of the movie when Steve gets his first million point score they come and they do an investigation and they want to look at his board and there's a lot of controversy with that and they get in and they say uh-uh this is not the new world record not the new world record well Billy was a referee referee for Twin Galaxies back then and yeah he sent a few to go look at it and they're like no this board isn't legit this board isn't isn't right and watch the movie it's, it'll make sense in context but if he's one of the referees uh, for this company that says that he's a world champ in Donkey Kong well do you think he's going to let that go anytime soon no okay it'd be like I don't know letting one of the football players in the Super Bowl be a referee too like if they're not offense, well, they can be a referee when 
the teams on defense. It you wouldn't let that happen, right? It just doesn't make sense. Um, now Steve is no longer the reigning champion. I I wanted to make that clear. Uh, Robbie Lakeman, he is the reigning champion, and uh, he actually just set the score this past February. So I wanted to make that clear. Robbie Lakeman is the champion right now of Donkey Kong. He has the world record, and he did it legit, and it is a very legit score uh, and verified Twin Galaxies, 100% verified. Uh, but congratulations to Steve Weeby again. You are the first person to reach 1 million points in Donkey Kong. That is amazing. That is amazing. And he's being recognized for this. And he's the true King of Kong. It, it, it's just so awesome. Being a fan of that movie and then seeing this. It's almost like watching a sequel unfold with, you know, before your eyes. Uh, a few more things about Steve. Uh, he did say that, you know, he was kind of careful about Billy but he said that you know Billy will have a chance to respond and I'm going to talk about that later in the video and uh, something really cool just about Steve that helped out with this whole investigation Jace Hall he's the owner of Twin Galaxies the footage that came from King of Kong helped the footage from Steve's uh, gameplay helped basically crack this riddle crack uh, this whole thing wide open um, and and he helped out in more ways than one so that, that's really cool so there there's Steve's story I'll give you guys a, the link down in the description let's move on to the next topic okay so next topic and guys there's gonna be a lot of news that comes out of this so you know normally I would do like a video for each of these but this stuff's coming out so quickly that I'm gonna have to condense it so Guinness uh, Book of World Records, they partner with Twin Galaxies. They verify their scores through Twin Galaxies, video game scores. And there's actually a separate book that comes out every year just for video game records and all that. I, I don't normally get it. I found one at a thrift store. I'm trying to look around and find it. I don't know where it's at. Just to look back to see if Billy's name is in there, and I know I know it is. Um, but Guinness uh, Book of World Records, they announced today, uh, the, today is Friday the 13th, um, April, Friday the 13th, 2018. They said that everything that's on the record books that has Billy Mitchell's name on it, gone. And, just like Twin Galaxies, he's banned from trying to set any more world records any more competitions that that's about right I'm not surprised about that at all now the two scores that he had in the Guinness Book of World Records Pac-Man Pac uh, the highest score and the first perfect score uh, and Guinness they reached out to Billy and no response just like Twin Galaxies tried to reach out to Billy no response and I'll get to that here in a minute. Now, uh, they they made the claim, Guinness did, that you know the emulation is not allowed and Twin Galaxies rules. That's our standard. And if Billy broke those rules, he is not going to have these world records. I was kind of curious to see what was going to happen with this Pac-Man, uh, these records. So, yeah, another thing. And this is a little separate from Guinness. Uh, I, I heard this from a, um, a verified source and someone who is very, very savvy uh, with the arcade world and just very knowledgeable about all this. And they said that basically, you know, besides the main, Billy was cheating on the dip switch, switch, dip switch settings. So apparently, you have to play if you want to get a world record um, attempt you have to play with the 3 plus 1 setting that's the standard setting on the original arcade cabinet the original hardware Billy he was playing with 5 plus 1 that's extra lives 
and you that's just straight up cheating and apparently you can get more dots I I don't really comprehend that too much but apparently you can get more dots uh, a higher score with five plus one but I know that the the dip switch settings were different so that yeah so other than just the information from Twin Galaxies there's other proof that he cheated and I'm sure there's more and more and more proof that he cheated that's not being shared with the public or that other sources know that he did I don't know but it's crazy so there's Guinness there's their their response and uh, let's move on to the last subject okay guys so last thing I'll be talking about Billy today so Billy apparently is going to be making his first public statement about all of this mess, all of this that's been going down. And uh, I am actually friends with um, Richie Knuckles, one of Billy's friends, personal friends, close friends. And Richie made uh, the comment that live from the Midwest Gaming Classic, it's in Wisconsin, I will not be able to go. If I was closer, I would go. I would watch. I would hear this in person. Trust me. But apparently, Richie will be the one doing the interview uh, live. And uh, Richie will be putting this on his YouTube account. His uh, YouTube channel. And trust me, I will be watching this the minute that it's on. If it's live, I'll be watching it. If it's live streamed, I will be watching it. If not, I'll wait for it to come up and I'll watch it. And I'm going to do a reaction video to that to see what Billy says. I think Billy has something up his sleeve. I really do. But there's not much he can do. I honestly think he should just let it be and move on. There's not much you can do. Unless he wants to try to go a legal route. I don't know. I mean... There's no real precedent for that, is there? I, You guys correct me if I'm wrong. Is there a legal precedent around this whole thing? I, <laughs> I mean, what grounds would Billy have? I, I mean, the, the evidence is pretty clear. I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. So I will do a reaction video to that, and it's pretty amazing that this is all kind of unfolding before our eyes. And like I said earlier, this is like a, a King of Kong 2, just live. <laughs> and you just got to put the pieces together. Well, guys, I really appreciate you watching and watching my other videos on this subject. If you guys like my videos, I do all sorts of video game stuff. I do live streams, reviews, let's plays. I go game hunting. I, I do... All sorts of crazy, you know, video, all video game related. And uh, you guys should check out my my earlier stuff. I have reviews, Super Nintendo Classic stuff, and I'm a gaming nut. So that's it, guys. I really appreciate you watching. And as always, I hope you have a good rest of your day.